Many people have a passion for collecting antique or antique valuables. Especially antique furniture, coins, souvenirs, artworks, or any royal objects or items are in high demand. But how intense can this hobby of people be? What is the maximum a man can spend for a desired valuable object? In some cases, there are signs of eye-rolling spending on seemingly mundane items of value. But that object may not have been as valuable in his contemporaries. This article is about the 20 most valuable objects in the human collection of the ancient yet present world. Number 1. Napoleon's Sword. Everyone knows about Napoleon Bonaparte, the great conqueror of France. A gold encrusted sword he used sold for around 6.5 million dollars, 4.8 million euros. It is believed to have been used by Napoleon at the Battle of Marengo in June 1800, when he was in command defeating the Austrian army and driving it out of Italy. It is considered very valuable as a sign of victory in war. However, he later passed it on to his brother and it was passed down through the generations. It was declared a national treasure of France in 1978. The identity of the buyer of this sword has not been disclosed. But whoever he was, he had to buy it under certain conditions. As he must show that he has at least one home of his own in France in contract, he will keep the sword within French borders for at least half of the year. year. Number 2. Panther Bracelet. Britain's King Edward VIII abdicated the throne for love, falling in love with an American woman. But for members of the British royal family, like other royal families, romantic relationships with commoners outside the royal family were considered a crime. Moreover, that American woman, Wallace Simpson, was married. That is, she had an extramarital affair with Edward. This caused intense debate in Britain and Edward voluntarily abdicated. Later, she married Simpson after all the troubles. He gifted his beloved a very expensive and totally exceptional bracelet. It is made in the shape of a leopard and is studded with diamonds, lime, emeralds and other precious stones throughout its structure. It was sold at an auction in 2010 for about $7.2 million. Number 3. Secretary Desk. This seemingly simple desk was probably made in the United States in the 1760s. As far as is known, its creator is John Goddard. Hence it is also called Goddard Secretary Desk. This desk was sold in 1989 for about $12 million. Although it may seem ordinary, this desk is one of the oldest monuments in the United States. Because, so long ago, such elite furniture is not heard of in the United States. Besides, since this desk was made before the independence of the United States, several other histories are associated with it, including the independence of the United States. Perhaps that is why it is so valued. Number 4. Necklace by Elizabeth Taylor. Many people know Elizabeth Taylor, the once very popular actress of Hollywood. The actress who starred in the famous historical movie Cleopatra received a very expensive pearl from her husband Richard Burton in 1969, named Lou Peregrina. Lou Peregrina has a great deal of history attached to it. It is believed to have been picked up from the seashore by a black slave in Panama, Central America, in the 16th century. He then handed it over to his Spanish master. He was, he was probably freed in return. And Lou Peregrina reached the royal family of Spain. It was owned by the Spanish royal family for almost 300 years. During the war-torn Europe, it changed hands and was lost several times. It was last owned by an English royal family when it was auctioned in 1969, when Richard Burton bought it for $37,000. It is the largest pearl ever found. Its pear-like and symmetrical shape multiplies its appeal. But interestingly, Elizabeth Taylor also lost it within a few days of receiving it. Later, after getting it back, he made a necklace using this Lou Peregrina and other precious stones. It sold for $11.8 million at an auction in 2011. Number 5. Page from Shahnama of Shah Tam Asper. The context of the epic Shahnama written by the great poet Ferdowsi in the late 10th century was very broad. It covered everything from history, contemporary society to the heroic deeds of the Shahs of Persia, the title of Persian rulers or kings was Shah. 
It should be noted that this Shahnameh is the largest epic written by a single person. During the reign of Shah Ismail and Shah Tamasp in the 16th century, this valuable asset of Persian civilization was taken to illustrate the description written in Shahnameh. The best painters of that time were given this responsibility. Finally, a different and special edition of the epic Shahnameh came out, in which the entire story of the Shahnameh is presented through illustrations. This version is known as Shahnameh of Shah Tamaspur. It is considered to be one of the finest and most valuable pictorial manuscripts in the history of human civilization. The painting in question is just one page of this Tamaspur Shahnameh. In 2011, the price of an auction rose to $12 million. In fact, it is the highest-selling Islamic painting ever. Number 6. The Crown of Katerina Henkel. This beautiful crown was given to Katharina as a gift from her husband Guido Henkel von Donnersmarks. The crown was made in the late 19th century. The Henkel family was the leading wealthy family in Germany at the time. Guido Henkel therefore spared no effort in making this beautiful crown for his wife. Diamonds and emeralds are used in it. Eleven Colombian emeralds arranged in descending order, the combined weight of all is 500 carats. At an auction in 2011, the crown fetched around $12.7 million. Of course, compared to its incredible beauty and the effort and labor invested in it, this amount of money can't be called a waste anyway. Number 7. Chinese Moon Flask. In ancient times, special vessels or flasks were made to store various types of precious drinks for the use of kings and kings or for use on royal occasions. These specially designed porcelain drink storage containers are also called moon flasks. Made during the Qianlong reign, sometime in the 18th century, this moon flask has an exquisite design of various white, blue and pink enamels on a porcelain-made base, enhancing its craftsmanship. Another reason why it is so valuable is that it is not easy to make such a heavy moon flask. It requires highly skilled craftsmen and superior quality materials. Clay is more likely to break down when it is heated to solidify it after forming its basic structure by mixing the appropriate ingredients with it. So its design has to be very precise. It is believed that only two such moon flasks were made during the Qianlong period. The moon flask was sold at an auction in Hong Kong in 2010 for around $16 million. Number 8. 11th Century Oliphant. In ancient times, people often carried horns when hunting or going to war and used them for various purposes. Among these, those made of ivory are known as oliphant and are highly prized. Perfectly shaped ivory is required to make a horn of such a fitting shape. The use of colors and carvings on it adds to its artistic value. One such elephant sold for around $17 million. It is believed to have been made in Scandinavia in the 11th century. Number 9. Whittle's Box Diamond. This precious blue-tinged diamond was owned by several Spanish and German royal families at various times. A blue-tinged diamond is already extremely rare, on top of that its value is much higher due to its relatively large size. It is believed that this diamond is from India. It was last owned by the Whittle's Box royal family. In 2008, a British jeweler named Lawrence Graff bought it for about $24.3 million. Number 10. Super Complications. This strange name is for a pocket watch. Made by the famous Swiss watchmaker Patek Philippe, this watch is the most expensive watch ever sold. Although there is only one more expensive watch in terms of monetary value, it has not been sold, but is kept in a museum for exhibition. In 1932, this watch was made for an American rich man named Henry Graves. It is said that he entered into competition with another American industrialist. The theme of the competition is who can collect the most expensive watches. Following this, Patek Philippe made it to the company. Unfortunately for poor Henry Graves, his rival craftsman died before the clock was finished. This super complication pocket watch was sold at an auction in 2014 for $24 million. Number 11. Bronze Statue of Artemis Artemis is one of the characters of Greek mythology. Artemis is considered the goddess of hunting. 
A bronze statue of Artemis was created under the Roman Empire sometime between 100 BC and 1st century AD. It has a deer standing next to the goddess Artemis. When the st statue was made, it is believed to depict a scene where Artemis has just shot an arrow from her bow to hunt. That is, one of his hands is empty but the other hand is supposed to have a bow. But at some point during the bronze statue's long life, the bow became detached from the hand and was lost. In 2007, the statue sold for around $28.6 million. Number 12. Persian Carpet A proud part of the rich heritage of Persia, now Iran, is its carpet industry. Once upon a time, the demand and value of this carpet was sky-high in the country and in different royal courts. One such 17th-century carpet was sold at an auction in 2013 for $33.7 million. Although the buyer's identity has not been released, all three are believed to be from the Middle East. Number 13. Ming Period Tripod Gold Vessel Looking at this precious tripod gold pot, it is easy to guess that you will have to shell out quite a lot of money to own it. Made of around 18 karat gold, the surface of this vessel is studded with various precious stones and pearls and carved with a dragon design. This pot is a unique piece of traditional charming Chinese art and culture. It sold for around $14.8 million at an auction held in Hong Kong. Interestingly, before the auction of this Chinese artifact, when other antiques were being sold, buyers were not showing much interest in them. Rather, they were saving money to fetch a high price for this pot of gold. Number 14. Faberge Egg of the Rothschild Family House of Faberge is a famous and traditional jewelry manufacturer in Russia. It has been manufacturing various precious items with various precious stones, diamonds gems pearls jewelry for about 180 years. In 1885, Tsar Alexander III of Russia commissioned Faberge to create an exceptional gift for his wife. The House of Faberge then produced a special type of gift, which was a miniature horseman figure wrapped in an oval shell. As precious as the original gift was, so was its oval shell, made of very expensive materials and indicative of refined taste, which also looked regal. Since this event, the popularity of such gifts made by Faberge among the elites of society has increased tremendously. These Faberge products came to be known as Faberge eggs. Most people know about the influential Rothschild family. One such Faberge egg was made for the Rothschild family in 1902. But it was unique. Like other Faberge eggs, there was nothing hidden inside. Rather, it was a special kind of watch. It sold for $18.5 million in 2007. It might have sold for more, but its Russian owner declared it a Russian artifact. So it will remain in Russia and will not be sold. Number 15. Badminton Cabinet. Hearing the name of this very expensive cabinet or cupboard, many people would think that it might have something to do with the game of badminton. But actually badminton is also the name of a place in England. This is where the name comes from. Henry Somerset, Duke of Beaufort, was the first user of this cabinet, which was set with various rare and expensive stones throughout the structure. It took about 30 craftsmen six years to make. It was sold at an auction in 2004 for $36 million. That's all for today. See you in another video. If you enjoy the video and found it informative then please like the video and let us know your opinion in the comment box. Never forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon next to it. Share the video if we earn it. Thanks for watching.